Gamers, welcome back to Seaside Survival, a show about nothing. Um, so, you may have noticed that uh, I've changed up the villager's square a little bit. Yeah, so originally I had the villagers' workstations in or near their house, and I had the villagers fenced in so that they would stick to their job. I'd always know where to find them, etc., etc. Um, but they were, their, their AI was getting all sorts of weird. They were... I, I, I don't know. I put all their stuff out here, <laughs> essentially. So uh, we've, we've got our blast furnace here, and you see the smoke coming up from that. And I've put the other jobs around in the town square as well. So hopefully these guys should all hang out in the town square. They've got their bell, um, and they come over here and gossip in the afternoon after they're done with their work. The guy in the green shirt does nothing. I made a staircase that goes up here. They were getting kind of confused as to how they get to these houses. Um, they, they didn't think to go around. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a great place for a meeting. Mm-hmm, good meeting place, guys. Before we get started with today's episode, we got a little bit of housekeeping to do, some household chores, got to feed the pigs, got to feed the, uh, the sheep, got to feed the cows, um, you know, got to find some food, completely unrelated. Look, everybody loves this, everyone's happy. Alrighty, got the chores all done here, let's go over to our Build-O-Matic and see what we're going to do today. I ended up moving my dragon head. It's outside now. I think it's fitting. We've also been busy doing some pathing over on the other side of the river. It's shaping up. All right, so let's put some of this stuff away and we'll find out what we're gonna build today. Um, let's see what the build matic has in store. We'll head up the hill here as the sun sets. It seems like it's always dark here, doesn't it? We'll go to bed soon. Let's see what we're gonna do. Skeleton spawner, all right. Hey, this is awesome, okay. I am excited to build a skeleton spawner. This is gonna be fun. We've got the perfect place to do it. Um, I've already found a skeleton spawner. It's by the village that's um, on the other side of the mountain. Okay, I just had to run it down to the to the water to get some, well, water. Got a few buckets full of water. We're gonna need those for the skeleton spawner. All right, I've gone ahead and gathered some resources, and now I've got my water buckets as well for our spidey, or skelly spawner kit. It's not a spider spawner. We do have one of those nearby. If we need a close by XP farm, we can, we can get one of those going someday. Um, but I, I like the skeleton spawner best. You get bones, and you can use bones to make bone meal, um, and and you get their um, you get their arrows as well. Oh, hey there. You can have this. I think he just smiled at me. So anyway, if you're not familiar uh, with the term skeleton spawner, essentially it's a it's a mob farm in Minecraft where um, mobs will will automatically generate out of these spawners that you can find naturally generated in the world and then you can kind of set up a machine around it so that when the, when the bad guy spawns um, you trap it and then you use a, a tool to remove the bad guy from uh, existing Okay, this is one deep spawner. Uh, it's down at Y negative 24. 
So it's pretty far down from where we came down on the surface. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is clear out the area around here to build our uh, mechanism around the spawner. And we're going to make a water elevator using some of the stuff that we brought in our kit. Once we have that, we'll be able to quickly get down to the bottom and quickly get back up to the top. We're going to use some of the same technology to bring the mobs up. Essentially, what this is going to do is allow, uh, once we get rid of these torches, allow for the skeletons to spawn in and they'll get into a water stream that pulls them to their own water elevator, brings them up, and drops them down just enough to get them uh, to be a one-hit kill. Okay, first, ow, ow, first thing that I dug and it's already a mob spawner. We gotta get rid of some of these guys and looks like we're gonna have to fill in some openings. What's a building project without a little bit of danger, right? It's gonna be important to light up the area around the spawner as well so that mobs are focused on spawning only in here. Now the game can only spawn a certain amount of mobs at a time and we don't want them all to spawn out in the darkness down here. We want the skeletons to spawn in the spawner. You. We don't want you to spawn. Go on. Come on. Where did he go? A quiet Enderman is a scary Enderman. That's what I always say. Nailed it. Oh yes! Got a music disc! Thank you, skeleton. In fact, I'm so grateful that that's gonna happen. Oh, far. I don't remember this one. We'll have to make a jukebox later and listen to it. Okay, I think this area is safe, relatively. Um, and now we can continue onward with the spawner. Actually, this big cavern being over here may be a really good thing. Because we could set up our little base down here in this area. And that saves me an awful lot of time hollowing out a space in here in the stone. Hmm. Oh, check this out. Diamonds. Yes. Three at least. Four. Five. Mm, what luck. All right. Awesome. Bringing those home and using the fortune axe. Oh, hello. You're still doing that, huh? Still spawning up there. Huh. Okay. So, I figured out where I want to go down and, uh, and land down below. And it turns out it's really close to the path that I made up top. So, first rule in Minecraft is never dig straight down, and that's what we're going to do now. Ah, good, it's nighttime. I'm sure this will be safe. So, before we make another hole here, we need to dump a bucket of water down here here we are at the bottom and you can see that our waterfall has worked so that is what we're going to be using to go up and uh, and this one is what we're going to be using to go down this isn't good That was close. <laughs> okay. What the? Oh. You just saw that, right? Well, well, well. We've made a little bit of progress here with the Skelly Spawner. Um, I've begun to clear out five blocks on each side of the spawner itself. So there should be 11 and 11 uh, wide and deep. 
in here, which is going to allow us the maximum spawning radius for this spawner. Um, I've also finished the water elevators. So if we step in here, we shoot up towards the top, and it is a long way. It, it takes a moment. I'm, I'm glad that there are bubbles because we can breathe in here. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure we would make it. Up at the top of the elevator, I've made a little shelter here. We'll improve on this, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a start. I've also put some stairs in for convenience. And in case we want to do it the old-fashioned way, we can still bump our heads every step down to the bottom. If we step into this side, nope, if we step into this side, we're catapulted down towards the skelly spawner. So this is going to make it really convenient and easy for us to effortlessly get up to the surface and down to the skelly spawner when we need to. We're going to apply this same technology to the actual spawner mechanism so that the skeletons get pushed upward and then dropped down to where we will uh, remove them from existing. Now we got tunes while we build. What's this? Oh, I guess we have slimes in the area too. Huh. to force the mobs to come this way. They're then going to go under our little uh, ledge here, and we're gonna send them up through a glass tube. Uh, I just think it's gonna look cool. There's there's no other reason. It's, it's just gonna look cool. Okay, I believe we have to drop these guys 23 blocks down to get them to be a one-hit kill. And seeing as we're at Y level 26, maybe we just make the math easy. And we'll put the chamber right here. And we'll just bring them up to Y0. Alright, we've got up to Y1 and we're gonna need to get to Y0, and we're also gonna need to get to 1562 on the Z coordinate. We found where we're gonna land, and now it's time to start tunneling down there. But I need to make this enclosed so that we don't have any escapees. Hopefully I have enough black stained glass for this. Okay, are you ready for this flying prowess? Watch this. Oh, no. Okay, we'll try that again. This is where I'm trying to land. Watch this flying prowess. And now we're gonna fill the top of this in. Like so and place some water, uh, like so, and stopping here, perfect. And now we just need to get it over to this edge, like so. Oh. Hmm. Well, you know what they say, if you can't drop them from Y0, drop them from Y negative one. That's what they say, yeah? And that's not ideal either. Okay, we need some signs. And just like that, we fixed our water problem.
All right. Now we make the bubble elevator down here and we test it out. done this right we should without touching the keyboard flow all the way down here to the end and then fall to almost our demise mm-hmm this is why we test things like this all right well I got armor on but if I was a skeleton that would have really hurt okay so now I'm getting rid of this and we're gonna finish this uh, the front of the spawner up I'd like to have some tinted glass kind of in a circle let's get started on that and then we'll fill in the wall around it. Now this tinted glass, the nice thing about it is that you, you can see through it, but light doesn't go through it. So that's important because our spawner needs to be dark. It needs to be really dark, actually pitch black. So this will allow us to see through, but it won't let any light in. Nice, huh? Okay, we're almost ready. This is almost done. Oh, sweet, my kelp. Let's take out these torches and we'll be good to go. Now, the thing about this part is you kind of have to hurry because once we get some of these torches out, these things are going to spawn like crazy. I think we should be all right because I still have the torch on top of the spawner itself, but you never know. Yep, there we go. All right, let's check it out, see if it works. Oops. All right, it's working. The genius just astounds me. Check it out. Up they go. And down they fall. Yeah, this lava block, it's cursed. Okay, you guys are not gonna believe this. Uh, I died. I was making this lava fall and I died. What's here in my inventory is literally all I was able to recover from down here. Mm, it's not great. Uh, fortunately, my wings were in the chest, so I did not lose my wings. That's awesome. The rockets were in the chest, but other than that, what's on my hotbar is what I have left. So, we'll have to make some new tools. Um, but anyway, uh, the cave's coming along. I'm glad to have the XP portion of this done, so I can try to get some experience back because I'm going to enchant a whole new set of tools. Okay, this is what I was trying to do. Uh, 
Well, since I don't have any tools on me, I should make something. I have these seven diamonds that I found earlier. I can make I can make a pick and an axe. Okay, I made myself some tools. I got a pickaxe and I got a diamond. So at least I can mine now. Um, I made myself a new spyglass too, but I'm going to have to rename it. Um, so, yeah, bummer about the tools. Bummer about trying to swim in lava. Um, you know what? I wasn't even recording it, which is the real shame. Uh, well, it's okay. It's going to give us an opportunity to make all new tools put all new enchants on them. Maybe we'll do a whole episode on enchanting tools. It'll be fine. Also, these glow berries are awesome. We don't have to use quite as many lanterns or torches. They look natural, or more natural, I guess. Speaking of unnatural, this is still bothering me. Do we remove it? It's so weird. Ooh, good. Brown pants. If only I had those when I fell in the lava. I've got the spawner area mostly ready and decorated. It looks great. Can't wait to show you. Let's go take a look. It's working great. We got our spawner working overtime. We've got our pipeline that goes up and transfers them over here. Where they drop, we kill them, we get XP, we get stuff. As you can see, I, I got some levels back. I'm almost to 70 levels now. So that should be plenty to enchant some good stuff. Um, that's all for this episode. I'm going to make some new tools. I think really we just need a couple of pickaxes that are enchanted. We've got one. We've got an axe. I just need to fix and enchant that. Um, I still have my sword, like. Um, this was a good one that I've had. Fortunately, it was back at my home base over in the lighthouse, so I didn't lose it here. Um, we've got our wings. Uh, I found this bow from this and it's really good um unbreaking power and punch i think i can find a couple other bows in here that have been enchanted and dropped and i can use those combine them with this one and make a really cool bow um you got some unbreaking some more punch some power we can find a good bow out of this um, so, next episode, I'll be making and enchanting, re-enchanting my tools um, with my uh, with my 70-ish XP. Um, before I go, check it out. I planted a bunch of glow berries on the ceiling, and this is all kind of slowly growing down. It's going to look really cool when these all reach their full length. Just a really deep, viney, lava-y cave with skeletons thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this one uh, I know I have this has been possibly my favorite build in this new area for seaside uh, if you like it leave a comment if you have some ideas or suggestions leave them as a comment don't forget to like the video too if you did in fact like it if you know anybody who would be into this sort of thing, please share it with your friends. Um, really excited to be building this, 
and I hope you are excited to watch. See you next time.